Guys, what's happening? I know you've seen a lot of us already being here for Fanatics Fest, but I had to check in when I had like a second to breathe. Literally, this place is out of control. A wonderland of sorts that I've never seen before. With the National only being two weeks ago and then this following up behind it, they just try to do it bigger and better and it is completely out of control. As you can hear, you can't even think around here. Right over here, we got the WWE experience and people are loving it. It's been completely just, I mean, now we got Gronk showing up right now. So what timing for that? But that thing's been swarming with people. This is the first time our booth hasn't been slam packed. The top booth is completely out of control of people in line trying to get those new Fanatics Fets exclusive Topps Chrome cards and the Cactus Jack cards. And this is literally not even the tip of the iceberg of this thing. We're gonna walk around, I'll give you a better inside look at what we got going on here. This place is out of control. Senior Director of Marketing in charge of fundraising at the Kids Mental Health Foundation. At the Kids Mental Health Foundation, our mission is to create a world where mental health is part of the upbringing of every childhood. We create free resources for teachers, parents, and coaches to support kids' mental health upstream before there's a problem or a crisis. At the Kids Mental Health Foundation, we are so grateful to our partners, Midwest Cards, for creating this great idea to form a partnership at Fanatics Fest. Jim Christie and the team at Midwest Cards came to us and said that they believe that mental health is a great connection with trading cards. And we talked to the clinicians at Nationwide Children's Hospital, and they were really in full agreement that there can be a lot of positive associations between the hobby of trading cards and mental health. All right, welcome back. We're here with Dash, who just hit himself a big Patrick Mahomes rookie card after one of our pack wall pools, which was great. But as you guys know, we teamed up with the Kids Mental Health Foundation, and we just want to ask some kids some of these questions about what's it like collecting. So we're going to start, Dash, with the first question for you, okay? Dash, how does collecting cards make you feel? I just think, like, I just pulled a Patrick Mahomes rookie card, and I just think I was, like, so excited because I, I had no clue what I would pull, and I really wanted this one card, it was the Patrick Mahomes rookie card. I had no idea if I chose the right one or not. So I think it's just like really exciting and it just feels really good once you know, I pulled something good. <laughs> right, see, so exciting is the, I think the key word there that we got out of him. So second of all, I think we already got the answer to this question. This one says, tell me about a dream card that you'd like to have in your collection. Did you just get that dream card? I really don't know. I, I've never really thought about getting, a, pulling a Patrick Mahomes rookie card. I think my dream card would be, Probably like a Wemby Auto or something. Uh, okay. All right. Wemby yeah. Auto? Maybe a CJ Shroud. Uh, or, yeah, a shop. Okay. Yep. See, look, both good choices. I'll tell you that. And lastly, one more question, Dash. What do you like about trading cards with your friends or family? What do you like about it? So I think it's like with my friends, it's like cool because they can always pull something different. Like every single day, you can get, they can find something different. With my family, it's a little bit more boring because I see what they pull and then Russell, and then my brother's like, hey, do you want to trade this? And I'm like, uh, uh, no. <laughs> I get it, Dash, I get it. Thank you so much. Dash is having a great time at our pack wall. The Patrick Mahomes rookie was the start of it. Having a great time, as you heard, exciting with his friends and family. We'll see you on the next one. Just in case you weren't able to make it here, I want to give you a little taste of what it was like. Let's just go make our rounds and check it out. Boom! Champ right here, baby. Champ, let's get it. Kenny! My guy! Hey! What's up, man? How are you doing? Hey, you know what? 
Cool Guys in the Hobby. We are someone just put a finger in my ear. I have no clue what that is about. That was very odd. Who's that guy with the hat? Oh, that's Jesse. Oh, that's Sports uh, Sports Boy. Oh, all right, okay. That guy. That was Denny from Denny's Cars. Denny's, like the restaurant. Find him on Instagram. You guys, an amazing follow. Lots of fun. All right, that was just a little snippet trying to give you a piece. I gotta get back to the booth because they're slamming in there, but I hope you enjoyed at least getting a little taste of what's going on here at Fanatics Fest. Highest graded at PMG, uh, 98. Carl Malone, he's a top one, none are higher. Uh, these cars don't pop up too often. Even if you're gonna pay a little primo for it, you know, it's, it's a good deal. Yeah, I'm buying them because they're scarce cars and they're hard to find. Hi, my name is Drake. I work at Midwest Cards. Typically, I'm like the grader for the company, but I also help out in the shop and also help out with logistics at the company. And for us at the card booth, it's been really busy. First two days, we pretty much got bought out. A lot of buying. We actually sold probably our most expensive card we ever had. We had a highest pop of a Carl Malone PMG PSA 7. I'm excited for what Fanatics has in store for like the next one and the next one and the next one. So I think from here, it can, it can only go up. So it's just, it's just a really cool event. Guys, day three, Fanatics Fest. If you can't tell from the way this voice sounds, we are spent, but this thing was amazing. Wouldn't change it for anything, absolute blast. One of the coolest experiences I've ever seen when it comes to cards, experiences, athletes, celebrity, all wrapped up into this one enormous building and event. I am whooped. Our whole team is whooped, but man, what an amazing display Fanatics put on. I think the thing that keeps crossing my mind that I want to know from all of you guys is when it comes to the Fanatics Fest versus the National, has Fanatics Fest found a way to finally give the National its big competition? I feel with the hands-on stuff they got going on, with the names they have flashing around this place and the lines that are here that the people to see these people, I think they're going to give the National all they can handle for all the competition they need is who's the king of the hill when it comes to sports car trading shows. I wanna hear from you. Let me know guys, it's been a blast.